guys, so today I'm going to do a haul video and basically these items that I have I bought a couple weeks back so I could try them out and sort of review them at the same time. So the products I have today are all revolution and let's get straight into it. So the first palette I wanted to show you is this ultra blush it's in golden sugar and it is such a lovely palette like the colors are just gorgeous as well like the back the back the colors on the back don't look so wow <laughs> <They are. laughs> so obviously it's just like all the other palettes it just has a really nice mirror and these are the colors so obviously this is a really nice colour, it's probably my favourite colour, but that one is just also really cute. And so is the, all of them, all of them are really cute and it's really cool because it comes with this highlight one as well. So you can like, if you're not bothered to get out a highlighting palette or like your little thingamabob, then you don't have to and it's really easy. And yeah, the colours are just so shiny. Wait, let's do the thing. <laughs> Is that even? <laughs> that really did not work. I really do like this palette, and if you were looking for a new sort of blush, a shimmery blush palette, I would highly suggest you get this one. This palette was, I believe, six pounds. So the next palette I bought was this Revolution Colour Chaos Eyeshadow Palette and I really like this palette because it sort of looks like a colouring pencil pack and like it just tells you that the colours are going to be so nice and if you just look at the back you can see that all the colours are just really vibrant, really nice. So you have again the massive mirror and you have all of you have all of these colours and oh yeah this comes with it. I am again wearing some of these colours. I'm wearing the colours on a mission in like my lid and for my outer lid I sort of blend blended out this colour called Deliver Me. And then for like under my eye I just like used a, a do it now do it now <laughs> again they are really pigmented but it doesn't look so bright on my eyes because i did blend them out quite a lot there are really nice like shimmery eyeshadows in this palette as well as mattes and there are no glitters unfortunately well there is like the top first color it's like a silver i'm not sure if you would class it as glitter probably but yeah nice range of colors and yeah, so this was £4 and yeah, this is really good for what it was worth. Like, I think it was too good to be honest, but I'm not going to complain. <laughs> okay, now if we're going to just go down to singular items now instead of palettes, I bought this lovely, lovely, lovely concealer. And this concealer is the... Um, matte effect concealer. I actually think I put this in a video. Did I? I don't think I did. But this is just such a fabulous concealer. Like, I have used it so much. Um, when I buy my concealers, I like to buy them like a shade lighter, so I can also because I don't really break out that often. I don't really need to conceal anything so I generally use it as like a cream highlighter if that makes sense for highlighting and contouring yeah and it glides on so nicely like so nice and it's a shame that there's barely any left but it was really good I think I actually just bought this for a pound or two I'm not too sure but it was very cheap and I really do like this so if you are looking for a new sort of highlight concealer like I use it for, it is a like, it's a really good cream highlight if you were to use it for that matter. But if you were to use it for a general um, concealer, it isn't that bad. A grade, I love it. <laughs> 
Okay, so the next product that I'm going to show you is the Revolution Pressed Powder. Now, I really do like the packaging of this. Like, it's nice, like swings open, but the only downside is that if I was to hold it and swing open, this falls out of it. And given that it has a mirror on the back, like it suggests that you're doing it on the go. But if I was on the go and this fell out, what would I do then? Generally, I don't really like this product. The only reason I got it was because I was in fact running out of powder and I do have it on now. And like, I'm not even sure if I have it on in a nice one. Okay, so like, see like that? Like you can sort of just see how, how like patchy it makes your skin. Like it doesn't, it isn't that nice. Generally, I don't think this is a great product, but it is the only thing I have at the moment, so I have to use it. Also, I did put this powder on a liquid foundation, so that might have messed it up. But this must have been three pounds, and yeah, I don't really like it, but you know, whatever. Okay, so the last product I'm going to show I'm going to show you today is this of a revolution blush I wore. I know, I feel like I am obsessed with blush. Again, this blush is in the colour Treat and um, I actually really do like this colour. I did put a tiny bit on today over the other blush just to make the pink more brighter and I think this product is really nice. I think this is a bad thing that it's really it, you have to use it really lightly. Okay, so if I was to just use my normal blush brush and go boom, see how much comes off and that is really bad because I use that so lightly and it just shows you need to have the lightest hand to use this. And another downside to the packaging is that it comes with this little screw like thing, I don't know what it's called, but it comes with that and you have to push that into the hole to make sure it stays shut and you have to pull it open when you want to open it and if you were to lose that that would literally be the end of this product because it would just like throw some keys and smack and smash off shatter into a thousand pieces of crumbling powder into your bag that was my revolution haul slash review and if you did like this video or find it in any way helpful please give it a like and definitely share this and yeah, make sure you also subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And yeah, thanks for watching.